I've got a swimmer yes. who's swimming straight this way across the river. He can do it in two meters per second. Yeah. So far, so good? Yes. Now we're going to take him or chuck him into a river. The river's flowing at one meter per second, and he starts here, and, and he can swim at two meters per second. Yeah. So how are we going to do this problem? Oh, the river going one meter second north. I see yeah. it wrong. Thank yeah. you. Yes. So for every two meters per second, for every second he goes two meters east and one meter north. Why? That's just how it works. That's just how it works in your head. Physics, no, because like the current is, he can swim normally two meters a second. So he's going that speed. The river's taking him. So he's going straight, but he's also going this way from the river. The current's taking him that way. So he's going one, he's going one meter north per second. He's just going two meters north per second. I love it, and he's correct. That said, let's clean this up by using relative motion. Same idea. Let's see if you can express it in a way that we all can agree you have to be right. Okay? That is, what if he starts here, right? He wants to swim at two meters per second. He can swim normally at two meters per second if the water was still. Let's say I have Bob sitting in an air tube right here. Bob is watching the thing on his inner tube. Now he's floating in the river, right? So how fast is he going? Uh, wait, how fast is Bob going? How fast is Bob? Bob's sitting in the air tube just laying in the river. Is his water still? He's saying, well, we, well, this, no, we're talking about river. We're in the river. He's going one percent this way, agree? Now, according to him, this intruder jumps in the river yeah. and starts swimming at him. How fast is he swimming at him? Uh, two. two meters every second, right? But because they're both in the river, they both move to together. So although his body would be pointed this way, he'd actually be swimming like this. Agreed? Yes. He'd swim, in fact, what he said, two meters this way every second, and he'd drift one meter downstream every second. So what would his eventual speed be, sir? It would be the uh, hypotenuse. It would be the hypotenuse, and how do I do the hypotenuse? Right there. All right, so I'm going to go 2 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. That gives me the square root of 5, which we had never used in this class, so we're going to get out a calculator. Question? No. Okay. Menu, 5 to the point 5, and I get 2.24 meters per second at, remember this is velocity, so velocity we need to give a direction to. We're going to do the same thing we've always been doing. Tangent theta equals 1 over 2. And what do you put? Tangent theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. That's a triangle. Yeah. So, tangent theta equals 1 over 2. So, theta would equal the arc tan of 0.5. Okay. Arc tan, 0.5. And I get 26.6 .6 degrees. What of east? I'm going this way, right? The guy's actually swimming that way. North of east. Are we in agreement? Anybody swum in the lazy river before? Okay, this is what we're talking about, right? You swim across, you drift downstream. If you don't want, to, if you want to get directly across, you have to turn your body and then have it push you back, right? That's not what we're talking about. You the first try some straight across, and you're just drifting downstream. Good. All right. With that in mind, we're going to jump ahead to three seven. I'd like you to do one through five. Start to do six, and then we're going to see if we can clean up six. Leslie can't get the back. 
Sorry, Mr. Sussman, I was not reporting. Yes? Okay, hold on. It says south, south, so it says east and south, so it should be south of east? Yeah. All right. South of east. Bamo. Crazy. Yes. Oh, What's the thing right before the one half? Like, it, it, um, it, 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 like, I did arc tan. So theta equals arc tan of one half. Now, for our purposes in this classroom, the arc tan is essentially the tan minus one button, or the second function tan. Your trig teacher at some point should tell you how to use that button, or why it's used that way. Basically, it's we're taking the ratio and trying to go back to the angle. Your calculator knows how to do that. In fact, he might even be discussing that next week sometime. We're darn close together. It's weird because my class is another day. Mm -hmm. I could our two classes together. It's weird. Get you through the magic number six. Now I've got those answers. Let me know. I'll swing around. All my peeps, same thing. Number one. The bear is going to try to swim this way. Swim through your second. Obviously, he's still subject to the stream. Bob's sitting in air tube, floating downstream, and we're going to put Susie in the tree. Susie's over here at the tree. We haven't mentioned Susie at all, but Susie's actually in the tree. Is that okay? To put Susie in the tree. Yeah. Okay. A, what is the velocity of the bear according to Susie who is sitting in the tray? How fast is the bear going according to Susie? Here. Susie. According to Susie, the bear is drifting downstream, agreed? And the bear is actually traveling like this. Agreed? Yes, you see it like that. 
So according to Sue's, you got to do some Pythagoras. 1 squared equals c squared. c therefore equals 3.16 meters per second. Agreed? Does it say velocity? It says velocity, so I gotta give it direction. So you do arc ten at arc ten of one over three, right? Eighteen point four degrees downstream of a cross. Yes, sir. To Bob in his inner tube looking at the bear. Wait, 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 wait. How come the bear is moving downstream? The bear is trying to get Bob. He swim full speed that way. How much closer is he to Bob every second? Three meters every second. So how fast does Bob think he's going? Right? I mean, at the end of the first second, Bob is sitting here three meters closer going, uh-oh. Right? So Bob says, <laughs> it's, it's three meters per second uh, across. What are you talking about? According to my reference frame, that bear's head straight at me. No, wait, Susie agrees. Susie looks and goes, yep, that bear's head straight at you. But they disagree how fast he's moving towards him, which seems strange and could be problematic, couldn't it? Right. We can figure that out by saying, what time does a bear get to Bob, can't we? Sure. And, you know, maybe Bob's got a donut, that's all the bear wants. But either way, we need to figure out what time the bear gets to Bob. So let's do this in a time and a piece of time. If I've got... If you start 15 meters apart, according to Susie, how long did it take the bear to get to Bob? Five seconds. Susie says he's going 3.16 meters per second. Isn't that she? Yeah. But does Susie know how far Bob's, Bob's going? But Susie thinks the bear's going to go this way, right? So you got to figure out how far that is, don't we? So I'm going to draw a triangle over here. I don't care how that side over there is. Uh, we do the Adjacent, hypotenuse, yeah. cosine of 18.4 degrees equals, hypot uh, equals uh, 15 over the hypotenuse, right? Yeah. Get on my handy dandy calculator, tell it cosine of 18.4 degrees. And then I get 0.9488. 8 equals 15 over the hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by hypotenuse. I get 0.94888 hypotenuse equals 15. So 15 divided by that gives me 15.81 meters. Right? So if Susie thinks the bear is going to travel 18, uh, 15 .81 meters, and um, Susie thinks he's going 3.18 meters per second. How long does it take the bear to get to Bob? So we would go D equals VT, no acceleration. I got 15.81 equals 3.16 times T, and I get... And I get 5.00 seconds. 15 meters away, coming at 3 meters per second. How long did it take them? Uh, five, seconds. 5 seconds. So who's right? They're both right. All motion's relative. It has to give you the same answer, doesn't it? She thinks he's going, the bear's going faster, but farther. Don't matter. 5 seconds later, he's going to get there. Yeah. They both agree it's going to happen right there. Yeah. So five seconds later, either way. Yeah. Got it.